So what makes this situation to me even more unacceptable than just the removal of a central bank governor is that we don't know. We don't know what's going on and when we don't know what's going on, that is not good for stability. And you cannot have instability at the body that is a regulator that whose job it is to promote stability. So we have great instability at the very body that is in charge of stability. If you follow this letter, and if this letter is, is real and in time, clearly what he's trying to say is that he believes that his integrity is maintained and that he tried his best to restore the integrity and operational autonomy of the central bank. The inference from this naturally is that he was not being allowed to do his job. He was not being allowed to do what he is responsible to do as the chief regulator of the financial system. That is what we get from the letter. But the question is, we don't know. Nobody's talking. There's no letter. There's no termination. There's no resignation. As far as the public is concerned, technically, Mr. Vasquez is still the governor of the central bank. Although we know that he is supposed to leave, but on what basis?